Oof. Hello, fellow art enthusiasts. You know you're getting serious when you start buying paint by the two litre. Oh my goodness, I've got some black. So we're gonna be using this for the base today. Here are the colors and we're gonna be going super bright. This is inspired by some of my previous work. This one and this one. Now they're both are quite interesting. I like how this covers the canvas more, but I'd like it a bit brighter. And this one, the white stood out a bit too much. So we're going to see if we can come up with something that's going to fix those two issues today. So I've got my black base paint. I'm trying a new mix of um, one part Elmer's glue oil to three parts paint to six parts Australian Floetrol. Let's coat our canvas. Quite thick. I think that's enough paint. I don't know why I like playing with the black a lot more with my finger painting. It's satisfying covering up the canvas. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. Okay. Shall I uh, just tilt that a bit to even it out? I don't know how well it's going to level. Looks like I've missed some spots on the other side of the canvas there. All right, so one thing um, that I want to do a little bit different is right through the middle, I'm going to use some pre-mixed white that I have. I'm going to do two stripes. And this is, the goal here is to um, give a bit of pop to the colours that I lay over the top so they're not so dull. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but everything's an experiment. that's sinking um, I might just give it a squiggle through just to spread it a little bit but I want it uneven okay I'm going to put yellow as my first colour. I wonder if I should swipe from this direction. I'm going to turn this around because I like going that way. But I think there's too much white there. So I probably want that to leave the canvas or because I'm starting from this end swiping that way. I'll be swiping with white this time. Eventually I want to have a go wiping with black. Let's lay down our colours. Now I've popped the purple into a bottle. So I wanted to see how easy it is to use for this kind of thing in particular. Let's see if we can get straighter. Okay. Now, again, I'd rather they cross over, so I'm just going to add a bit extra yellow. Try and get them to meet. There we go. Better. 
this this will actually oh god it's pushing it it'll give me um a better spot to start from with my swipe All right, fluorescent orange. I'm gonna have to tilt a lot of this off, I can tell already. Hopefully I'll learn to get steadier with my hand. You can see that that's translucent. The orange. Have I gone heavy handed with the paints? I don't know. And fluorescent pink. I don't know if this is semi transparent or opaque or what. Doesn't say. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can we get that out? fixed. Alright, my swipe paint, which is white. Why did I think I wanted to swipe that way? I'm right handed. I think I want to go that way. Let's turn it around again. Like it's a small canvas. Otherwise this would be hard work. Alright. look pretty. This always uh, makes me nervous this part. Getting the palette knife ready. Ready for that swipe. I don't want much white. So I want colour. This is the part I like. It's like we've got to tip off half the canvas to get what we want. Right. Let's see. Oh wow. Check this out. Alright. Let's try again. Get the little palette knife. I think we'll leave this. And that looks pretty cool too. Should I come this way? Yep. Might lose it all. Let's have a go through here. that doesn't make sense to the painting all right do 
do I want to tilt now or do I want to play with a little bit of this stuff? Nice. Mm hmm I'm going to add a little bit more paint. To the sides, just to help it flow. Right, we're going to go this way. Ooh, not too fast. To the center. That's a lot of pink. It's like, how much should I stretch this? I'm getting a nice shape actually, if it keeps going that way. Very different this piece. It's the first time I've used the fluorescent pink. Watching. 
See, that's nice. I'm not super keen on this through here. I kind of wish I hadn't added the pink at all. or pink and I laid the pink last I like that okay so I've had a bit of a think and it's not the way I wanted it to go I'm gonna lay down some colors again and I'm gonna swipe again so we're gonna lose most of this I would say uh, I might change the order. Let's go red, orange, yellow this time. And I'm not putting any pink in. So I might leave the outsides. Because that could be a cool effect. swipe. This is all practice. Oh, I'm losing my red. Sliding off the back. It's going to work quickly. spots and we might get a bit of pink pop through which would be more subtle which I prefer let's try a slightly smaller palette knife I 
think um Quickly get a shot while it's uh, it's developing by the looks of it. It's starting to get some nice crisp lines through here. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. Um, I have to turn the camera off because it's overheating. So uh, I'll show you when it, uh, it's been sitting for about an hour or something and it's still wet and then we'll look at the dry results after that. Okay, so I've been looking at it develop and it's actually looking nicer, but I just feel like there's something missing through here. I'm gonna try adding a bit of yellow. I hope I don't muck it up. Here we go.
not sure if that's enough. Give it a bit more. sink in, create a few bubbles, that might just be enough to balance it a bit more, okay. I'm pretty sure most of that will sink like the orange, you can see it's sinking quite a bit here, but we'd like to see a few little bits stay. Okay, it's been sitting for a little while now. I tell you what, when I turn the lights on, which you can see the reflection there. Um, let me just come around a bit. That pop, that pop, that pink just pops. So, so I'm glad I left it in, but it was just a bit too much before. Anyway, let's have a closer look. This turned out really nice. So I should really try swiping with some colours because that worked out well. And then we've got some bright colours through here. And we've got sharp white lacing through there. And then some interesting pink blended with white up through the top. So there's lots of interesting little bits in this and I like the composition. It could use a little bit more of the colour down here perhaps but yeah, very different, a lot going on. So I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, here it is dried. Now you can see that the pink, fluorescent pink, has dried a lot darker um, and I have to say it's blended with the red quite a bit up here where we had the, the pink outlining. It looks quite red. It looks pink over here. So yeah, um, it's a nice orange subtle lacing through there this piece has grown on me um, since it's been drying I, I like the way it flows through and it, it kind of looks I don't know like a flame or something maybe fire breathing dragon I don't know <laughs> anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that one, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.